My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. This 1970 Plymouth is BS. But wait, that's a good thing. BS is in the VIN number. That means it's a CUDA. This is not a Barracuda. It is the much more desirable Sport CUDA. It's also a number match 340. It has a shaker hood. Uh, it's completely ground up restored. It's a really nice car. It has the fender tag. It has the original build sheet. You can go to volocars.com as you can read all the specs, study all the pictures. And that's where you find prices on over 200 collector cars that are all for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, it's a really nice car. I've been around it already. Uh, already wrote my description for the internet. Uh, very nice. Seems like a good, clean, honest car. Uh, a previous owner did claim it was rotisserie restored. I don't have proof of that, but it's all done underneath. The floors, frame rails look like bone dry clean. Looks like original metal to me. Really nice clean dry floors, painted black. And all the components have been replaced or restored. The whole front end's been rebuilt, the bushings and ball joints. It looks like it has Coney gas shocks all the way around as well. Um, <clears throat> has the correct dual exhaust system, which has the mufflers, and it has the round resonators uh, back here with the correct uh, rectangle tips coming right out through the valance. Uh, looks like the fuel system was replaced, the tank, the straps, the fuel lines. The brakes have all been redone, new brake lines, brake hoses, uh, the e-brake is hooked up. Uh, I just want to confirm it is disc brakes in front. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's clean. We have pictures on our website. Down on the side of the block, you can see the casting codes and the date is all correct. And then you have the VIN number stamped right above the oil pan on the passenger side. It matches the car. So it is the number matching 340 performance motor. Uh, it has the 727 uh, Torque Flight Automatic. It is the correct transmission. Uh, it has the correct uh, eight and three quarter uh, rear end with 323 sure grip gears. So it's a nice cruising uh, gear ratio. So underneath the car is excellent. Nothing to pick apart uh, under this car. The body is really exceptional as well. This thing is straight. Looking across the hood, looking at the gaps. This is all smooth. I mean, it's silky smooth, actually. It's slick. Look at that gap no bubbles you always look for bubbles down low and around the wheel well lips i don't see any of that this is all really nice it is painted its original metallic green color has a chrysler uh, tag here i don't know if that's uh, from the original dealer or not it is held on with sticky tape so that is removable uh, but yeah, getting back to the body is excellent and the paint as well. It is a metal flake paint. It is the original color. The metal flake is laid out evenly. It's not cloudy or blotchy. There's no uh, you know, color differences. And this side's just as nice. No bubbles. It's got the Cuda gills down along the rocker. The hockey stick stripe. All real nice. Beautiful. Of course, the shaker hood is a very desirable feature that this car has. Windshields crystal clear. Stainless moldings are polished like chrome. They're beautiful. Vinyl top uh, is new. It's pristine condition. Back window has some scratches in it. A little more than average. Door handle looks nice. Mirror looks real nice. Has the rubber bumper up front. That's an option. Uh, an excellent shape. Has the road lamps down below. They do work. The grill is all painted up real nicely. Show quality motor compartment. The whole engine bay is all real nice metal painted the same glossy green. The VIN number on the core support 
and the cowl matches the VIN number on the dash. It has the fender tag as well. 14 inch rally wheels. They've been painted, uh, repainted. Uh, trim on it's nice. Got BF Goodrich tires. I don't. I think the suspension might have been lowered. When I got out of the car, I, I just felt like I was really low. It has a nice stance, and it just seems like it's it's been lowered a little bit. The interior is excellent. The Cuda has the blacked out tail panel. The tail lights are sparkling. All the trim, the bumper, it's all in great shape. Inside the trunk, up here, the trunk lid and the jam is glossy. Inside the trunk compartment, it's not as glossy, but it's painted really nice and neat. It does have a, a matching rally wheel. Goodyear tire's never been on the ground. It has the nubs on the tread. Um, it has the jack assembly laying here. It's not been cleaned up or painted. I do have the hood pins. Uh, we're going to install them, the little safety pins. So if you are the one that buys this car, remind your salesman to have the shop put those on. So getting back in the motor compartment, it has power brakes, power steering. Everything is authentic. The valve covers, manifolds, hose clamps, the shroud, overflow hose. Everything looks proper. Batteries bolted down. Uh, horns are hooked up. Uh, washer bottle, alternator looks new, the pulleys are real nice. It's all restored in here and properly restored. Got the plastic grills up on the cowl, uh, the shaker uh, sticker. It's all cool stuff. The interior is really nice. Really nice cushion in the seats, so the seat upholstery fits uh, really well. Uh, door panels are new. The carpet is new. Headliner is tight as a drum, no wrinkles. It looks new. The dome light works. The visors, the mirror are excellent. The backside panels are excellent. It has an excellent instrument panel. The gauges, the dials, the original radio, the heater controls, none of that is cut up or broken. The dash pad. They all split up by the speaker. This does have the cracks by the speaker in the dash pad. Some people prefer that because the VIN number is riveted right to this dash pad. If you change this dash pad, you also have to drill the rivets out and change them. Now you don't have the original rivets. It raises some question. It's understandable, but to some people, they'd rather leave it original. Door jams are painted real slick. The weather strips are new. It's just detailed everywhere. Real nice steering wheel. Uh, just a nice, clean car. Doors shut. Real nice. Yeah, it's ready to go to car shows. The latches, the rubber, everything. Everything I'm looking at looks really good. Rear window has more scratches than I'd like to see. If I owned this car, I'd be uh, looking for a new rear piece of glass. Shuts nice. Look how nice it fits. All the trim is shiny. All real nice. This is a high quality car. And it is a real CUDA number matching right there by itself makes it super desirable. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures. <clears throat> That's where you find prices on the cars. That's also where you can get in touch with the salesmen. Uh, if you have questions or concerns, make sure you talk to them. They'll help you the best they can. They can get this car delivered to your driveway. They can get you financed as well. It's at volocars.com. Thanks for watching.